Hey y'all, happy Friday. Um, in this very full week, I wanted to talk a little bit about a resource that I made for you because I've been getting a lot of questions about how do I find the, my Enneagram number and what do I do with it? And um, so I just wanted to say a couple things about the Enneagram and um, how it relates to conflict and relationships. And the first thing in finding your Enneagram number is you have time. There is not a test at the end of the semester. There's nobody giving you a final. There's no assessment. And um, so there's some real time to figure out what your number is and how it can help you. And in fact, I really think a slow process is the best way into the Enneagram because you can take a test and it can take you five minutes, but you need to observe yourself over time. And sometimes when you're sitting and taking a test, you think of all the different situations like, oh, I'm like this at work and I'm like this with my kids and I'm like this with my family or I'm like this with my friends and I'm like this at school or you, you, you see yourself in different situations and it's really hard to choose between two answers. And so the test can get you in a little bit, but I think the best process is really giving yourself some time. And so what you're looking at when you're giving yourself that time is self-awareness and looking at yourself and what is motivating you. The Enneagram is all about your motivations. Why are you doing what you're doing? What is underneath the pattern of behavior? And that stays the same in all of those different scenarios. And so giving yourself some time for some self-observation can really help you discover that. So I've made a little resource for you that lists all the core motivations and centers of intelligence of each of the Enneagram numbers. So it's gonna show you the centers of intelligence, which are um, the heart, the head, and the body, sometimes called the gut or instinct, depending on what day you're on. Um, and so those three centers of intelligence really impact how your core motivations show up and what type of thinking you lend to first. So there's also your personality strategy. What what do you use to try to get those core motivations met and your needs met? So I've listed that for you as well because I think that's really helpful in discovering your Enneagram number. And I don't think we kind of talk about that a lot. So the four main motivations for every person, we all have a core fear, this thing we're running from, this thing we're scared of. We also have a core desire, what we're looking for, what we want to get. And we have a core weakness, which is one of those things that's probably never going to go away. And it's something we're going to run up against over and over and over again. And so there's not shame that goes with that weakness and to look for it so it doesn't inhibit your relationships and your conflicts and and your success and just making yourself aware that oh my core weakness is showing up here and I need to remember that and make some different choices and then the last thing is the core longing it's that message you want to hear that thing you want somebody to say meaningfully that just hits right for that hole in your heart. And so your core longing is another great way to kind of figure that out. So the resource I have for you is is really pretty quick. There's lots and lots of books out there, which I have a resource page that'll guide you to as well, that can help you do a deep dive. But sometimes as you're getting started, those seem overwhelming to sit down and read a whole book. Um, and kind of figure that out. So this is really quick. It lists each of those six things for each number and just kind of gives you some sentences and words for you to start thinking about as you're observing yourself. Am I, am I motivated by this? Am I motivated by that? And just kind of pause and think about things, especially if you're starting to feel um, intense about something. Um, you can kind of go, Ooh, what am I, what is my, where is my intensity coming from? Unless you're a number that is always intense. And I think you'll figure out who you are. Um, and so those types of things can be really helpful to you. So I just wanted to make it easy to just to start considering and start walking down that path. You don't have to figure it out right away. Some people are like, Oh my gosh, this is totally me. And it's the easiest thing. Other people are like, Ooh, none of these quite fit. And then there's other ways to kind of get into your Enneagram number and see how it can help you and you can start to recognize these patterns of behavior and why you're doing what you're doing so i hope that's helpful for you i'm going to link it in the comments and ask me any questions you'd like have a great weekend